Now, we all know the buzzwords, smart living, smart environment, smart mobility, smart economy, smart community, all these for sustainable development. But how exactly are we going to do it? Now, one thing we set to do in, in Hong Kong is to make Hong Kong smarter by making its map smarter. Hong Kong has already got comprehensive and detailed map and aerial photos coverage that is being updated constantly and frequently. We make our map as detailed and close to reality as possible. We also link it to the real world through an accurate satellite positioning reference network. The idea is to make it versatile enough to carry all kinds of spatial data and accommodate all kinds of applications that can seamlessly link the real world with the virtual one. Another aspect to bear in mind for a smart map is that it has to be dynamic. Now, we have to give up the traditional notion of a fixed map that is a map reflecting the snapshot of a place at a particular time and space for a specific purpose. Rather, we must recognize that we could not know in advance for what purpose and how the map will be used for. And the map should be as dynamic and versatile to allow a host of yet unforeseen applications. Now, finally, and most importantly, I think a smart map has to enable data sharing, and better still, foster data sharing. By that, we mean not only the wider dissemination of spatial data, but actually in giving a spatial dimension to all kinds of data, geotagging them, and enabling them, and thereby enhancing their link with the real world that we are living in. Now, we have already taken a step towards this. As part of the government's open data initiative, our department has helped geotagging the open data made available by various government departments and disseminating them in a geospatial manner through a map with associated application program interface that people can call and use. With this, we can better optimize the expansion and development of the city and the various infrastructure and system that support its vital function in a much more efficient, more convenient, less resource consuming, and more sustainable way. So in the not too distant future, I hope to welcome you to Hong Kong as a spatially enabled world city and enjoy your journey in the physical environment of the city, which by the way has a lot of uh, green and a lot of culture and a lot of good food as well. And a city running highly efficiently and sustainably thanks to serious planning through the use of spatial technology. And I hope your experience there would be augmented by the virtual reality of the city, which evolves around the spatial data we have built. Now with this.